What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I'm your host, Tunji Taylor-Lewis. Guys, today marks the first full day since January of 2017 that um, I am an actor who is independent of an agent. Um, At first, that feeling was very, very scary. For those of you who saw the episode that I posted yesterday, I was, it, it was a feeling of fear instantly. Um, and it was a feeling of fear when I went to bed last night, and it was a feeling of fear for like the first part of my day. Um, but then that fear turned into an excitement, and I'll tell you why, because I now have freedom to network and to um, participate in any film project that I can uh, find for myself. And that's something that I really enjoy doing is going out there, networking, DMing people, emailing people, trying to hop onto uh, film projects. And I'll tell you guys what my strategy is gonna be for getting onto film projects in a second, but, um, but yeah, I know there's there's definitely uh, that fear there. Um, you know, there's definitely a certain amount of security you feel when you know that you have an agent in their office somewhere. You know, making phone calls, getting emails, getting requests for you to come in um, for auditions and stuff like that. And uh, I think that's where the fear was coming. Was just. You know, you don't realize that when you're in that grind for a while that you that you're really you really have almost gotten into the mind state of putting your career and like putting your craft in the hands of other people and putting you know um, putting putting your future um, to a certain extent in their hands. You know, I've been blessed to have gained a little bit of following here on Instagram and I'm trying to build my following on other social platforms, but, you know, it, you know, there, there, there's so much of our lives as actors where we're depending on other people to make stuff happen for us. You know, acting is, 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 is an important part of filmmaking for sure, but it's but it's by no means the only thing that's needed to make you know films or film projects happen like there's so many other elements involved you know you got to get the directors and the producers and the cinematographers and the and you know the casting directors got to be involved and agents get involved and like funding where is the funding there's so many things that go into uh, producing a film and re- and normally speaking we as actors have no control over what happens um, you know I was currently in a uh, comedy series which I was very much blessed to be a part of um, and and people have asked me all the time because they've seen me post about it on social media and they saw that I went to the screening for it. A lot of them have been asking me, so like, yo, like, when's this thing dropping? Like, when's it coming out? We want to see it. We want to share it with everybody. And basically, I have to look at them and say, hey, look, I have no control over what's going to happen. Like, last I heard, they're doing this, this, and that with it. When I get word, I'll let you know. But all usually all you can do as an actor is is you know hopefully first of all you got to book the gig which is a whole process in, in itself you got to beat a whole bunch of people for auditions then you got to you know then you go to the gig you act in it and after you finish acting it's out of your hands the film project might not even be released and there's nothing you can do about it so you know, it's definitely my mission to be someone who not just acts on screen, but who is also somebody who has influence on all the other things that goes into uh, producing a film and making a film project come to the light. And um, at this stage, I'm, I'm my my strategy for. Um, getting more involved with more film projects. That's the other thing for me too, it's just like practice is so important. Like I really consider um, my acting career to be similar to that of an athlete. An athlete doesn't just wait for the next game to come up 
um, any good athlete will practice um, consistently on their craft and they, they practice by doing and um, and and when you're an actor you know with the you know who's going the traditional route a lot of us improve on our craft by taking classes which is which are they're often very very expensive and a lot of quote-unquote experts in acting will take advantage of our desperation to get the big movie gig and to get the you know the star role and they'll, they'll take advantage of our desperation because they know that you know we're competing with a lot of people for like any given audition that they'll charge us so much and we'll give it to them even though those people haven't themselves you know built a built a career that's really worth mentioning like I, I hate to see it I'm not saying that applies to every acting teacher I'm just saying that you know a lot of teachers who charge a whole bunch it's just like I personally just look at them and I go okay well like who have you taught like when people come out of your program what do they go on to do and usually the answer is they stay in that class so that they can feel like they're improving even though they're not really um, making any real strides um, within the industry right so yeah so basically I'm just like pulling away from all of that and what my strategy from now on is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do a lot of research on on filmmakers um, in my area filmmakers in Vancouver I'm gonna e email them I'm gonna DM them and I'm basically gonna say to them hey um, it's, you know, I, I noticed your stuff. I love what you do. Um, I'm looking for film projects to hop on as a lead actor, and in exchange for uh, a lead acting role, I will distribute the film on my social platforms. Um, and uh, the reason why that'll be a, a good exchange is because you know filmmakers are always looking for. Um, filmmakers are always looking for actors and they want their films to be seen by as many people as possible and because I've built a social media following for myself especially on Instagram and TikTok I can provide you know two of those things and then they in turn would be giving me a film set for me to uh, practice on and they would also be giving me content for my social media so it, it's a it's a beautiful marriage it's a beautiful exchange and um, so instead of my agent you know searching out auditions for myself I'm going to be searching out like actual you know opportunities and um, all the filmmakers can scout me out on on my social media to see if they like my acting or not and uh, it's just like much closer towards um, actually getting the opportunity to act rather than you know um, competing with like you know 400 other people um, so yeah that's that's gonna be my grind for the next little while um, obviously I got the new job coming up so I'm going to try to stay patient at least go through a couple weeks of getting into the routine of the new job so I can see where I have pockets of time to like actually um, do that extracurricular stuff but yeah that's what I'm gonna do so basically I'm just hoping that I'll have you know a whole bunch of short films at my disposal so I can post them uh, on IGTV on my YouTube on my you know Facebook um, you know who knows maybe I even like get the audio and, and, and put it on the podcast format but yeah that that's basically my plan um, feeling really jazzed up feeling really excited um, um, definitely was feeling the fear a little bit but now it's just like pure like motivation and excitement and like okay like I know what I want to do um, I feel like it'll work well and um, yeah I'm, I'm just excited to see what comes from it so uh, that's all the time I have for now y'all thank you so much for listening watching supporting uh, the amount of support I got from when I got that job was unbelievable so from the bottom of my heart thank you um, yeah that's it peace out y'all a a a a a a a okay bye for real this time <laughs> <laughs>